Hello all, welcome to another video, uh, even though St. Patrick's Day was a while ago, I still have my Irish accent, my pretty fake Irish accent, and I don't know why, but it's an inkling, so let's just continue with the video. Hey guys, I'm back from whatever you just saw. I don't know what that was, <laughs> but uh, today I wanted to do a review of a new product that I just received, especially because it is an inexpensive, a very inexpensive tripod, and if you're anywhere in the market for a tripod, you'll know that the only ones that are actually any good are usually really expensive, and there are some that are inexpensive, but they're also usually really bad quality like once you'd get them out the once you even tighten the, the tripod head I mean it would be loose that's how bad it would be so um, I was out trying to find a tripod that was inexpensive yet still performed performed very well and this might be right for you if you're looking for an expensive tripod this one in particular is called the TX the Dolica TX 570 DS another really long name but it is actually a pretty nice product uh, Dalika has a lot of tripod sells a lot of inexpensive priced um, tripods dollies things of that sort for camera stabilization and um, they have many inexpensive options that I know would uh, definitely perform greatly compared to others now some things to note on this tripod is that it has a ball head um, so instead of it being having handles where you can pan and tilt that's um, what I had before which is um, usually called a video tripod usually um, people in the video industry use that for uh, special really smooth panning and tilting but I just hit the microphone Sorry, <laughs> but um, this is usually um, more, mostly used for photography. Um, doing video on a ball head is usually very difficult um, because it rolls all the way around and it's not very smooth. Um, but for photographers, the ball head is the most versatile, easy to use of all different of all the types of. Um, heads out there. Now for some specs. This tripod can um, go up to a height of 57 inches and as low as 18. And when it's folded up um, all the way into its portable, I call it the portable mode, or where it's all sm a lot smaller in a smaller package, this is 12 inches. Um, which is very compact and easy to take along. It, co it comes with a carrying case, so um, if you like to travel a lot, this is definitely great for you. Another neat thing is that the legs move on their own. They're not attached to the other legs, making it um, making it hard to set it up. It also has little notches on t on the ends of the legs so that you can change the height of the legs you can even have it go straight down on the ground with just this section coming up this tripod is great for people who want to get macro shots because it can go so low um, with a lot of other tripods they don't have very much fun versatility so um, you would have to pretty much you do it handheld if you were trying to take macro pictures or something like that. Um, also, a thing that it can do that a lot of tripods can't, especially in the inexpensive range, is that the actual column can come off. And that helps in the fact that you can uh, put it on the, on the bottom side so you can get really close to the ground shots. Um, if you wanted to, you can also it also has the function of um, switching into a monopod. You can convert it into a monopod. One of the legs can screw off and then screw onto the column. 
which I find a very useful feature. Um, there are some tripods that go for around $100 to $150 that can do this, but definitely in the $70 range, which is um, what the price that this comes, that this tripod comes out, um, it's pretty unique. Um, not very. I don't know if any other tripods at this price range can do so much for such a small package, small and expensive package. Also, if you're wondering, the quick release plate actually has a tab that comes off the bottom so that you can easily make sure that the quick release plate is clamped down onto your camera. My older tripod that I used to use, which is actually what is holding up my camera right now, um, you had to use a quarter, so you always had to have change with you to make sure that the um, plate was as solid as possible onto your camera. How the quick release plate works is that it just slides right in, if it's loosened, <laughs> just slides right in. You hear that? And then you just tighten it up on the side. It's as solid as a rock. Um, if you want to take it off, you just unscrew it, press this button on the side, and it comes right out. This is definitely a very easy way to get your camera off the tripod. And also you don't have to worry about your camera slipping and falling off because it has a safety lock on it. So that only when you hold down this button will the camera come off. Which I think is a very smart idea. So that's about it for um, this tripod review. I definitely give it two thumbs way up, especially for it being only $70. I want you, want you guys to go check it out. I have links in the description for the Amazon. I might have an eBay link down there as well. So go check those out. While you're down there, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or ideas, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. Hope you all have a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hello everybody, Caleb here, we're back with another video, and I am going into another Australian accent. It's an Australian day, you know? And there's a car. <laughs> For its build quality and just... Eh, that was always good down below. Also make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see some more of this action. <laughs> My Irish voice, I guess. If you have any questions or ideas, please con please blah. <laughs> If you have any con if you Oi pipes. Oh. No, don't use that word.